My name is Julie Liang. I'm a third year PhD candidate in the Tolman Ursig lab. And today I'm going to tell you a bit about the research that we do. We're developing a new technology to better make proteins. So what are proteins? Um, you may have heard earlier uh, from my colleague Sam, but proteins, you might think of them as the things that we eat, but proteins are actually used in our everyday lives. They're used in medicines to make, as therapeutics for, uh, to treat diseases. Uh, they're also used in detergents to help break down stains. Even spider silk that's used in bulletproof vests are also made of proteins. So we can see that proteins are used in a wide range of applications. So we really want to be able to make proteins more efficiently and more cheaply. However, protein production has a couple challenges. One of the main challenges is protein purification. Proteins are made in cells. Uh, this is an example of a bacterial cell. And these cells make many proteins in addition to the proteins that we want. In order to get the protein that we want, the purple protein, we have to break open the cell, releasing all of the proteins inside. And this step, uh, in order to purify the purple protein, is time consuming and expensive. And so, like Sam said earlier, it'd be nice if we had some kind of magical door that will release the protein that we want. So how do we do this? Um, if, you, if you read my title, it's already a giveaway, but we use salmonella. Why do we use salmonella? Or actually, let me tell you what this is first. Salmonella, you might know of this as the bacteria that causes food poisoning, uh, also causes diarrhea. Uh, some strains of salmonella are lethal. So why do we use it? Salmonella has natural pumps that pump out protein. So here's another example. Uh, the purple pumps are known as type 3 secretions. I'll continue to call them pumps for this presentation, but these pumps can selectively pump out the protein that we want. And so we're engineering salmonella to no longer pump out bad proteins that cause diseases, and instead we engineer it to pump out the proteins that we want. In my research, I'm trying to understand how salmonella makes these pumps, because unfortunately, salmonella doesn't make these pumps all the time. I'm trying to figure out what's the on switch that turns on salmonella to make these pumps. Uh, to do that, I need to look at the DNA of salmonella. In the DNA, there's genes or instructions that tell salmonella when to make these pumps. For example, or as an analogy, you can imagine if we were in a room with a lamp, we want to turn on this lamp, we want to make light. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify all of the light switches in the room. In addition to finding these on switches, we also want to understand how each on switch works because they turn on the light differently. One light might only make a little light, a different light make, might make a lot of light, and the last one might only make an intermediate amount of light. And so in the same way, in my research, I'm trying to find all of the on switches that turn on making pumps in salmonella, understand how they work, and with this information, I can better engineer salmonella to make pumps when we want to make them, and that will enable us to pump out the proteins that we want. These proteins then be made into things in our everyday lives. Thank you.